Okay, hey, welcome, Penny Stock Billionaires. Uh, today we are looking at a very exciting event. Uh, we have a moving average breakout on Nextech NEXCF. Uh, let's go to the chart. Actually, this is better, right? Okay, here we go. Um, okay, just in case you want to see me, right? Okay, so here's what's going on. Uh, we got a two things happening with a very clear breakout above the 20 day moving average that is uh the line that is in green today we broke out normally i look at the 50 day moving average because that's the more you know that's the more uh reliable one uh but uh i'm using the 20 day and here's why uh, it looks to me like the algorithms, which are increasingly playing a role in uh, today's markets, are following the 20-day moving average. Uh, and uh, it, I think that could be triggering some uh, increased buying activity when it breaks above the moving average. Or if it breaks below, obviously selling happens. Uh, but today we're breaking out above the 20-day moving average. Uh, this thing is looking really good. I think we have an inverse head and shoulders pattern starting to emerge here. Uh, now, the key thing you want to watch is that purple line, which is the 50-day moving average, which is right around 61 cents. So this is the daily chart. Just to give you a little context, here is where Next Tech has been. I think we're looking at really a double bottom. I'm going to draw you a quick trend line over here. I'll do this in uh, red, the, the red line, okay? So the red line. Basically, here's what you got, okay? So you're, we're bouncing off a massive, massive double bottom in next stack. Um, and look, you know, I'm a believer in time price geometry. Uh, I do believe a lot of times char uh, stocks will go back to their previous highs. Now, Unfortunately, uh, this is a Canadian listed stock. NEXCF is the US symbol, of course. Uh, but because this is uh, in Canada, uh, you know, the Canadian regulations prevent me. That's right, the regulations now, they are getting very tight and they are preventing me from giving you uh, my opinion of where this stock can go. So I am, I am banned. Justin Trudeau is censoring me. Um, from telling you where I think this stock can go. Um, now, I'll let you do the math. You can kind of see where it's been. It's been over $7. Uh, when we got first got involved in the stock, it was uh, less than 50 cents Canadian. It went to 7 bucks within about uh, six, six to nine months. Now, uh, I think history could repeat. Uh, I can't give you any price projections, but I think we could see a uh, you know, significant increase in next tech based on the, the, the chart action that you're seeing here, especially if we manage to break out both the 50-day moving average, which is around that 60-cent line. Now, the key line you really want to watch is going to be right over here at the $1.10 range. $1.10. Again, this is the Canadian chart. I'm just using that as a reference. Uh, but uh, the, the U.S. symbol, NEXCF, is the one that is more active. Um, by the way, I should also say everything, of course, uh, is uh, high risk. It's a, you know, this is, should be considered as paid content because uh, Next Tech is a client of uh, Octagon Media Corp., uh, Wall Street Reporter, etc. And um, that is the deal over there. Uh, so let me go back to, uh, yeah. Now, I can't tell you where the stock is going. Uh, you know, where I think it, I should say where I think the stock is going to go. Uh, but look, we've had some big winners in the past, uh, you know, over the years, decades, even, you know, Wall Street Reporter, parent company has been around over 25 years online. We've had many, many stocks, many, probably hundreds of stocks that doubled. I mean, we've worked with, I think we've interviewed like 8,000 public company CEOs during that period. Uh, we've had hundreds, hundreds of stocks have doubled. Uh, 10 baggers plus, uh, but I've only been keeping track in the last two years roughly because that is when I kind of launched this next super stock concept uh, where, you know, instead of working with a lot of companies, I'm only focusing on only a handful, which I believe have that 10x to 100x upside potential. Now, I haven't had a 100 bagger. I haven't had that yet. I've had a 50 bagger. Uh, we've had a, nine stocks in the last 
12, yeah, uh, not 12, 24 months that have increased between 10x and uh, 50x. And I think we're going to have a lot more. Right now, I think we're, the market is a great position, uh, you know, really to get involved in these stocks. The market has been so beaten down. The micro caps are really, really uh, at like rock bottom. I mean, the chart kind of shows you, I mean, this chart, I mean, this, this chart tells you everything you need to know. So, you know, this is, I don't want to say it's a generational, because that sounds exagger like exaggerating, but it's not a gener. maybe it is a generational buying opportunity. I mean, you, you kind of see these things very rarely, where you have this massive kind of base uh, and uh, where a stock can, can bounce from. So let me give you a couple of key resistance uh, areas coming up. Uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of resistance at a dollar ten. Uh, if we break out of that, uh, your next line is roughly, I would say three dollars. At three dollars, you're going to have some resistance. So, I think basically the stock from here, we have a good chance of uh, going to this dollar ten range, uh, especially if we break out of this uh, sixty-five cent fifty-day moving average. Uh, and from there, you got uh, basically three bucks. I don't think we're going to have a lot of resistance in the two dollar range. Not too much. Three dollars is probably where you have some resistance. Um, and from there, now again, no price projections, but you can kind of see. I don't think there's a lot. Okay, the next level of resistance is four bucks after that, and seven dollars. Those are the resistance areas. So I mean, the stock could go to any of those numbers, it could break above those numbers or it could get stopped there and pull back, whatever. But I believe we are uh, heading higher based on this chart right now. Now, let's dive in for all you all you low-life degenerate day traders. This is the four-hour chart. So it's more short-term and it's even more impressive. As you can see, we got two things happening. Uh, we got a breakout above the 20-day moving average in green. That was uh, three days ago, a very strong move. On volume, we have had really strong volume the last four or five days. And now we're above the 50 moving average, 50 out, 50 time period. So 50 times four hours. So that's 54 hour periods. It's the same thing in proportion. One thing you want to look at is also where the, the Macy D line is looking bullish here. And as well as on the daily chart. I mean, this is essentially a technical buy indicator. Now, we're not giving advice, but uh, technically speaking, when you have the, 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 the Macy D crossover, that is a very, very positive, a very constructive, as uh, they like to say on Wall Street. Uh, here we go. Uh, now, we got the 30-minute indicator. Excuse me, 30-minute time chart. Uh, and it, what does it tell us? Now, to me, it looks like we've had very strong momentum breaking out of here. Could be like a rounding head and whatever you want to call this bottom. But yeah, it broke out above very strong momentum. Now in this 50 cent range, it, it is it has been slowing down a little bit. It's been slowing down in this 50 cent range. It's kind of got stopped. And this is, you can see there's resistance here, 50 cent resistance. Uh, and there's a little more at 60 cents after that. 75 cents roughly um this is again short this is the short term chart uh let's dive in i mean you know with these type of stocks you, you can't it's hard to get you can't read too much into these short term because there's not enough clean data there um you know i would say this is looking bullish i think we could break out of here now you want to see what happens tomorrow basically you want to see what happens tomorrow Oh, uh, by the way, I apologize. I completely. I've been I've been showing you the. Um, excuse me. I've been showing you the. Uh, I have been showing you the uh, U.S. stock, the U.S. NEXCF. This is the next tech NEXCF chart. So uh, I, I threw around some di different. I, I was talking about the Canadian thing maybe earlier, or whatever, but. Yeah, this is the U.S. chart we're looking at where it does trade more volume. So this is actually pretty good. And um, what you want to look for is uh, tomorrow, if we can break out above um, 50 cents, if we 
close uh not even close i think we need to go let me see let me look yeah basically we need to break above i would say 52 cents if we break above 52 cents it's about two three pennies from here two to three more cents if it breaks above those two three cents we could see a significant move i mean we could see 60 cents plus and a uh, a move towards this 80 cent and higher uh let's go back to that four hour chart yeah 75 one dollar yeah so uh you know look the, you know these these charts almost contradict each other sometimes because you got 15 minutes there's a lot of things happening short term it's all part of the bigger cycle uh, but uh, NEXCF is looking very very bullish that is what these charts are telling you let's take a look at the weekly chart pretty interesting pretty interesting um yeah the weekly chart is looking really interesting uh again weekly you want to break above roughly 80 cents so 80 cents is going to be a good number to watch uh but to me this looks like a massive massive double bottom i mean it's pretty obvious and again you can see where the stock has been it's been as high as 750 i believe uh so you have you know if it kind of bounces back in proportion to kind of the previous thing a lot of times the proportional move you do this kind of time price geometry in proportion you could see a bigger move than the previous high. you can see the previous highs exceeded uh by you know a factor of depending how long it's been this consolidation phase so uh you know sometimes as much as i mean it's a very long base it's a one two three 19 one two three three year you get a three almost four year base um I don't want to I don't want to throw crazy numbers because I don't want to say a number that sounds too as they say in Canada over promotional I don't want to like say anything that's too over promotional but uh you know I believe that the um the move what it starts to really gain traction could be pretty significant could be bigger than the previous highs by a significant amount I don't want to say the number uh you know because again it's uh you know this there's a lot of regulations here and you know with with these Canadian stocks it's a nanny state um so uh, we got to keep in line with the um you know with the Canadian regulators right um yeah but I think next tech bottom line very bullish you got a key yeah it looks like you have a key reversal happening here if we can close this week 65 75 cents that'll be a really very 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 positive I believe that will be the start uh that'll be really a sign of a uh a new uptrend and look this stock when it gets moving it really moves bigly bigly um and uh look what do they do who cares what they do we're just trading charts no I'm just kidding uh yeah we do have some videos which talk about the fundamentals of um of next tech I highly suggest you watch the uh, CEO interviews um by the way I was at the uh HC Wainwright conference it's really an institutional conference last week where next tech presented they had a uh, you know very strong um I think they had a very strong interest I sat in a couple of the meetings uh with some of the analysts uh with uh, some of the investors and um you know there is there is there is something really really here again the companies in the web 3 metaverse space what do they do you know if you don't want to watch the videos if you're too lazy to watch very simply uh they use um augmented reality they create 3d product models so this is essentially you know you go to amazon right now you see flat jpeg images very boring it's kind of like this logo at the top it's very boring so if you buy a product you don't really know what it looks like in your house if it's a big product if it's a piece of furniture if it's whatever it is you know so it's hard for people to buy it with next AR you actually see it you can see it in your own home on your phone it's amazing the AR technology is amazing and it, you can see the product in 3d it rotates all dimensions I you know we're going to be taking that thing for granted even now some people are taking it for granted but 
in reality for marketing, anybody who understands marketing, this move is as big as the move like, you know, when the Sears catalog, I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember the Sears catalog, but you know, the Sears catalog went through a couple of transitions. They went from, you know, drawings, black and white drawings back in like 1900. When they went to black and white photos, sales really took off because people could actually see the product now. Now, imagine, then they finally went to a color catalog. People could see what the product looks like better, even more. This is the same type of thing. So now when you see in 3D, obviously even more. It's kind of like, you know, you had, uh, you know, the movies, you had the talkies, you know, you had no sound. The movies back in the olden days, there was no sound. It was just, you know, action. Then you went to talking. Then you went to color. You know, um, it's a big deal. By the way, speaking of the movies, uh, I think it was, was it Samuel Goldwyn or somebody said, you know, when, when they started making the transition to um, talking, you know, actually hearing actors talk, the guy said, who the hell wants to hear actors talk? I mean, that's what they really believed. They, they were like, you know, who needs to hear these guys? You know, that was the thinking. Um, same thing is going to happen with, uh, you know, as e-commerce, which is a $5 trillion industry. Uh, right now, they don't, they kind of look at it in the same way. Like, who needs to hear actors talk? Who needs 3D product models? Well, they're, they're switching over. They're going more and more. That's why you see Next Tech taking off. But at some point, it's going to be the standard 3D product models. And where does Next Tech come in? They're the leader in creating these 3D product models at scale, at scale. So, you know, yeah, sure, you can make a 3D product, you know, models yourself. You can make a few of them. Uh, but if you have 1,000 products, you have 500 products, 5,000 products, you're a major retailer like Kohl's, uh, it was a Pier 1, yeah, all these you know, blue chip retailers, uh, you need... Next Tech, that's what Next Tech does. They do 3D product models at scale. You got you need 500 models, 1,000 models, and it's a recurring revenue. So they get paid every month for each model. Uh, so it can become, you know, some substantial money. I'll let you watch the CEO interview where they talk about the fundamentals. But, yeah, this chart is looking amazing. So um, I highly recommend you check it out. And uh, look, um, you know, none of this is guaranteed. Any of these stocks can, uh, you know, go to zero. We know this. Um, let me run this disclaimer at the bottom here. Yeah, so let me know. Uh, actually, let me go back here. Yeah, let me run this. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so look, we've had, you know, I, I keep showing you the, some of the recent big wins. Uh, only so that you understand the context in which I'm talking about this stuff. I'm not pulling this stuff out of my ass. I've, I've done this over and over and over again. Uh, you know, this stuff is like, you know, it's like the same movie repeating. Uh, it's a little different. It's a little different, but, you know, it's the same movie playing over and over again. Uh, and just like nobody believed, any of these stocks you see scrolling, you know, that went up 1,000%, 2,000%, 5,000%. I know it sounds like a crazy, impossible number. Oh, it's hype. It's not hype. It's a reality. When you have something undervalued, big upside, great fundamentals, that's what happens. Uh, especially when you introduce them to large, massive investor audiences, which is what Wall Street Reporter does. Um, you have big moves. So, um, by the way, nobody believed any of these stocks you see that went up big time, 10x, 50x. Early on, like the way Next Tech looks right now, nobody believed that those things would actually happen. Everybody thought, oh, it's hype. The guy's a scam artist. I bet people are going to leave comments in this video saying, oh, this guy's a scam artist. Oh, the stock is down. The stock is down 90%. Yeah, it's down. Yeah, that's where the opportunity is. <laughs> so... It's really, really amazing. But anyway, look, uh, guys, leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you think of Next Tech? Where do you think Next Tech can go? Uh, based on this chart, based on the fundamentals, uh, looking forward to hearing from you. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, there you go. All right. See you on the next video.